is uh, the SB, SSB and so on, but uh, it is an AM modulator, okay? And the question is uh, given the carrier frequency 100K and modulating frequency 5K, so find the frequency and the bandwidth. Try to answer on your own first. It will be discussed. Finish already. Okay. Does anyone uh, finish? It's quite straightforward, eh? Are you zoomed in? Can I have the answer for one A? Are you in Ajmal? Azudin Ajmal. Yeah. What's the answer for 1A? Um, the for the upper side band first. You give me the upper side band frequency limit. That means the frequency maximum frequency. Or you can give me the range as well. Boleh kah Zudin?
For the upper frequency, upper side band. Okay, um, why are you waiting for Azudin? Amani, you here? Okay, 100k to 105k. Amani, are you here? Can you give the lower, lower frequency, lower sideband? Frequency, sideband for the lower. Okay. Well, next, uh, Luman Hakim, the bandwidth. No, Amani terus left. Okay, uh, anyone? Luman Hakim, can you give me the upper side, uh, lower side band? Okay, Amani is typing. Um, okay, you can try to type here. Luman Hakim, bandwidth. It's better you answer now rather than later the question will be more like calculating the voltage and also the power. Okay, um, Man Hakim, 10 kilohertz. Okay, thank you. Uh, so actually when we ask you the limit, you have to give the frequency maximum or the minimum frequency. Okay, so thank you, Nuruddin. So Nuruddin already answered 9 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. That is the range for lower sideband, yeah? And the limit would be 95 kilohertz. So, okay, thank you, Luman Hakim. The bandwidth is 10 kilohertz, betul kan? Okay, so that's uh, example one. You go for for the to the next example so all understand yeah we this is an example of a question and also for your test one lah. okay so next um on the modulation okay before that uh, i forgot to mention this is this wave the am wave modulated am wave is also called envelope Okay, so this is called envelope. AM amplitude modulation envelope. Not your and another lecturer Amrala, eh? because we call him Am also. All right, second question. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, amplitude modulation envelope. So you determine the amplitude. We already did uh, examples uh, last lecture. So we now you use the you can see that the peak here v max is 16 and the v min is around 4 okay so peak amplitude determine the peak amplitude of the upper and lower sideband so remember the sideband amplitude is what is the sideband amplitude anyone in terms of uh, voltage not the value Okay, good. 
VM over 2, yeah, the sideband and the center, the carrier is VC. Okay, so now you are given the Vmax and the Vmin. You can calculate the um, amplitude for the sidebands and also the modulated carrier uh, for the carrier peak as well. So please be careful, yeah, Vm over 2, not Vm only. Okay. You try first, later I will call any one of you. Any question, just let me know, yeah? If you're not sure how to calculate. Okay, can we have the answer? Well, I mean, Faris, we go one by one first. All right, the amplitude, uh, 2A, anyone? How many you want to answer that? Okay, 2A, um, VM2, which one, Arif? Because we want to know the amplitude for the upper or lower sideband and the lower sideband. Uh, Arif, can you, do you want to correct that? The sideband, that is VM, but the sideband is? Hmm. 
Okay, which is? Five volt, eh? You... Let me see. This, this uh, axis, the Y axis is the voltage. Okay, so you have to answer in full, which is volt. And the uh, X axis is a uh, time. This is time based, yeah? Because when you see sinusoidal, it is time based. Okay? All right, so it's five volt and the unmodulated carrier. Ami Faris, Ami Faris, is that the modulation index? All right. Um, Shafiq, Shafiq Akimi, you there? Can I have the answer for the unmodulated carrier? Give me a take, Give me you there? Okay, um, I mean, for is you, okay, Kimi, what's the, okay, what's the voltage for the 1B, uh, 2B? Is it 2B? Amplitude for the unmodulated carrier or carrier, don't worry about the word, okay? But basically, they're asking about the carrier because you know that the carrier, unmodulated or modulated, they are the same because after it's modulated, you still have the carrier part, okay? Six volt. Um, Ami Farish is typing, but well, is that correct? The carrier, uh, peak amplitude for the carrier? Everybody got six volt, eh? So, so what is the uh, for modulation index two C? Is VM over VC or VC over VM? So you got already the um. Okay, so can you? It will be five over six. So it's not one point six seven, yeah? Arif, tadi you jawab one point six seven tu untuk apa ya? Because I was not looking at the um, chat earlier. VM10, V6, VC6. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, sorry. 5 volt, uh, the sideband is VM over 2, yep. Okay. So 10 over 6, that is why you get 1.67, yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. So any question? Yeah? So you can do that, yeah? Okay, thank you all. Okay, next, we calculate the power. M2 kena darab 100. Okay, when it is uh, modulation index, then you don't have to multiply with 100. You only multiply with 100 when you ask percent modulation, percentage, modulation percentage, okay? All right, so next, um, on the power, so you have the formula already, V squared over 2R, yeah? Okay, the next question, 
question example three unmodulated carrier to a conventional AM modulator. So again, don't worry about the word conventional or the SB, SC or so on, as long as AM modulator. Okay, so unmodulated carrier is 500 kilohertz with 10 volt peak. The modulation index is M is one. And the load resistance, which is the R, is 10 ohm. So determine the power of the carrier one is the carrier and then the one of the uh, and also the one of the side bands and then calculate both the side bands and then the total power of all then we draw the power spectrum okay hold on before i go we go into power uh there was a question on the spectrum okay draw the frequency spectrum sorry we go back to question one you can can you draw the frequency spectrum so the frequency spectrum is something like this okay so this is the frequency spectrum uh let me get you so then after that you put in the value of the you must put in the value yeah the put value of the x axis and the y axis so this is the peak and then we have let's say this is the carrier and then we have the side bands should be half um it's not really half yeah okay and we have another side band here so you have to put in the value for the and you also label this should be an arrow actually okay with the i wanted to draw with the stylus but it's just going to be not it's not be ugly all right so Should be hers, or you should put in frequency yeah, F. Okay, and put in the value you draw on your own also, yeah. Uh, and put in the value of the frequency here. So this one, since you already have the unit at the axis, you just put in the value of the, so what was that? One, one zero five, yeah? And this is 100. This is 95. Okay. Okay, what? Well, put in the amplitude. So, what was the amplitude for the VM? 5 volt, right? Uh, VM over 2, so it's 5 volt. Then you have um, for the peak. What was the peak? Draw on your own, yeah. I and um, write on the. Oh yeah. Uh,
this six book. So please write the unit as well. Okay. So draw the draw the uh, spectrum according to scale. You six volts should not be too much different with uh, five volt. Okay. All right. So this is the frequency spectrum. It, later, you have to uh, differentiate between the between the frequency spectrum and the power spectrum. Okay. The difference is when frequency spectrum, the uh, peak is in volt. Okay. You write the value of the voltage of the amplitude of the each peak. When you do the power spectrum later, that will be the power spectrum and the unit here will be the power. You have to calculate the power and you put it up here. Okay? So, okay, class? Um, sorry. So, it's her, so you have to put K here. If you put here K, then you don't have to put K here. So, if it's, there's no K at the unit, then you put, have to put K here. Or else, it will be wrong. Okay. Again. Uh, question. Yeah, hundred k and five k. Okay. Any question? So I'm going to copy this for our power spectrum later. All right. Next question is on the power. You need to calculate the power. We use the diagram later. Okay, so calculate the unmodulated, uh, cal calculate the power for the question three. Do on your own. Later we discuss.
Okay, uh, finish. <clears throat> Can I have the answer for the power carrier? Power carrier is uh, five what that time? Five? You can type that the chat. Okay, okay Fauzi already answered. Thank you. So correct lah, Nazrul uh, 95 watt for the carrier, power carrier. Power for the sideband, one of the sideband only. So when they one, ask the sideband. 1.25 watt. <laughs> type the chat eh. So when they ask the sideband, you have to ask whether it is the one sideband or both sidebands or the total. Okay, so since the B is total, so this for A is actually one sideband only. So one sideband is one, two, one, two, eight, uh, two, five. Mm -hmm. All right. So betul ke? Uh, is it correct? So then the for three B. All right, so okay, we have Fauzi and Nazrul Naim answered for this one A and B. All right, now can I have any other students for the C total power for bond modulated wave? Okay, so um, all right, so it's five watt. Okay, thank you, Shamsu. Is uh, you have the power carrier five watt, and then you have the one of the sideband is one point two five watt, and then the other one is also one point two five watt. So the total modulated wave are all the wave, yeah, the send the carrier and also both sidebands. So sidebands is two point five. You plus with the five watt, so it's total seven point five watt. Okay, very good. All right. So again, the power spectrum. Uh, okay, for the E, you do on your own later, yeah? So you just take note the question and uh, write down the 500 kilohertz and the 10 volt peak. So later you calculate for M0.5. So I want to show you the power spectrum. So the difference with the power spectrum and the, of the, and the frequency spectrum, because I'm looking, I'm looking for the, all right. So this is the frequency spectrum. I'm going to change this too, because we already did this earlier. I'm going to change this to power spectrum. So the X axis is still the same. You have a frequency and the Hertz. It's just that the peak, you have to change according to the power value. Okay, so we had the PC is 5 volt, watt. Okay, you have to write the 5 watt, okay? What is small w or capital W? Is small w can? Small w. Yeah, the big w is Weber. Okay, uh, sideband is 1.25. So, 1.25 watt. So, the... Amplitude also should be much lower than the center, yeah? So it's uh, around one-fifth of the carrier. You draw on your notes also, yeah? You don't... I'm not going to share this. Uh, I will just share the notes only. So the example, you have to write on your own and note lah. Not the right the answer as well. Okay. Right. So this is power spectrum. So when you ask the power spectrum, it must be in terms of what you put the unit here, put the label at the y axis as well as x axis as well for the frequency, and the unit is hertz. Okay. If you want to do radian, it's up to you, but you have uh, many decimal number, zero, one point something, something like that, okay? Because you multiply with two pi. 
All right, so last question, example four. Okay, take note of this uh, modulation because you're going to use this complex uh, total modulation when you have multiple modulation index. Okay, so the modulation index will be square root of the total square. Uh, total modulation square. So M1 squared plus M2 squared, M3 squared, M, M, N squared up to how many M you have. So all the modulation index, you square and then you square root to get the um, modulation index. Total modulation coefficient or modulation. Okay, another thing is, Okay, got the formula ready. Another thing is uh, we always use modulation index. So it's coefficient of modulation is also modulation index. So maybe some books will use coefficient of modulation. So basically they want to know the modulation index lah, coefficient. Okay, so the question is again you have double side band frequent full carrier. Later we next week we'll cover this topic. Okay, AM transmitter with an unmodulated carrier. We already give you the PC. So normally, normally one question we can ask you, we giving you the voltage or the sine wave amplitude. You listen first, yeah? Amplitude and then you will calculate the power and then from the power you calculate all the, the others as well. Okay? Or it can be the other way around. We give you the power, you calculate the voltage and so you have to be familiar with the uh, the side bands. You need to be clear about that. Yeah. All right. So the PC given the power power carrier is hundred watt that is modulated simultaneously using three modulating signals. So you have M1 0 0.2, M2 0 0.4, and M3 0 0.5. So Calculate the total coefficient for the of modulation. And then you draw the upper and lower sideband power using the coefficient that you already got. Okay? You don't have to do one by one, you just use the MP that you you calculated.
Okay. Have you finished? Uh, yes, look at that. Coefficient ada unit ke? Hmm. Dia tanya yang lain. The, this modulation index has unit or not? Right, thank you, Mosi. You just uh, you just came, eh? Half uh, halfway, half the uh, halfway class. Okay, so so value uh nine. Untuk coefficient zero point six seven one. Okay, thank you. So yeah, Mosi, you typing. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, anyone? The upper side band. Power. When you are given the PC, so you use the because if there are two formulas, it's either you go from the beginning, or you just use the one that is already simplified. Waiting for your friend. Typing. Typing, typing, not there yet. Okay, upper is 12.5 watt. Others? How come you have different? Uh, can I have other answers? Isa, you were typing just now. Okay, Shami. Eleven two five. Okay, and any other answers? Yeah, is a uh, that is already simplified. M squared over four. That is for one side band. Okay. Yeah, M is the M total, the new one, MT. You you uh, squared all the zip values and then you square root. That is why you, uh, Naim already answered that you get MT is 0 0.671. Take into three decimal points. Okay. So 0 0.67. Um, so as Isa mentioned, you, I go to the slide. We use the simplified one, which is this one. Okay, so this one is already simplified, it means for one, this is the total side band. Total side band is M squared over 2. Okay, for one side band only, is M squared over 4 PC. This is already simplified. What I mean simplified means you, the value of the side band using the PC. But the originally, the side band itself, okay, when you want to calculate the side band is using VM. This is the original, yeah? 
half Vm squared, everything squared over 2R. Okay, so this is the original, but when you put in uh, Vm is MVC, then you can substitute, re rearrange this equation, this part, for because we know that Pc is V squared over 2R. So from here, you take out V squared, Vc squared over 2R, then you get the Pc part and then the M over 4. That is why you get this formula, M squared over 4 Pc, for this one of the sideband only. So the total sideband is M squared over 4 Pc. Oh, sorry. Total sideband will be M squared over 2 Pc because you have two sidebands. So M squared over 4 for one sideband, you multiply by 2. So the total you get M squared over 2. This is for the sideband and this is for the carrier. Okay. So, all right. Uh, thank you for the answer. Uh, Shami answered 11.25. I think Samsung, you didn't put in the 671. Yeah, I think you left the 1. Okay, that's why you get 11.22. <clears throat> so actually, when you you square root back the M, because you earlier you square root 10, and then you square back the M, you get 0 0.45. Because you total up the M squared, all the M squared. Let me show you. Okay, you total up all the m, m you get 0 0.45. So when you square root, you get 0 0.671. Okay, so, it, but the formula itself is m squared. Okay, so m squared is 0 0.4. Uh, squared lah. Because it's squared, you get 0 0.45. Yeah? Done, eh? So M squared is 0 0.45 and then you multiply with <coughs> your PC. PC is 100 watt and then divide by, because the sideband, divide by 4. Okay, so that is the, for the sideband. And then the total transmitted power, you <coughs> add up the 100 watt with the, both sidebands. Okay. Easy, eh? Okay, I hope you already uh, jot down the question and also the answer. Any question? Hishami, are you typing something? So the total, total transmitted power, because 11.25 is one side band, so the total will be eleven point two five becomes twenty two point five. Twenty two point five, so one to two point five, correct? Okay. All right. Thank you. So you please be careful. Make sure that you always have your unit when you answer. All right, thank you, Shami and Mosi, and I, uh, I Zudin. Okay, so okay. So next week we will continue a bit more on AM and then also on the single side band, double side band, and all the side bands that we have. Okay, and also your lab next week will still be online. I plan for um, noise on noise for next week, noise of FIR filter. Okay, so that's all for today. Okay, I'll okay. See you. Uh, can I ask you about our test one? Yeah, when it will be? No, it's week four, right? Yes, uh, in the first class, I mentioned to you for the uh, plan? When was it? I think, Doctor, you said week six. Week six, yeah.
Yeah, okay, I'll almost see. <laughs> yes, uh, we plan for week six. So, do you have any tests next week? Yeah, I have. Uh, yes, doctor, we already have done. our system. Only one. Uh, three. I have three I next have week. Two, yeah. yes. Okay, so we put it as a uh, week six lunch, shall we? Inshallah. So uh, we will cover all until probably until next week lecture. And doctor, uh, I want to know when, when is our hardware lab? When we have to go to the UPM? So probably week six. Doctor, can you uh, make it in another week? Because week six we have test, and uh, for the hardware lab, especially those of us who stay outside. It's really difficult to make time. Because we I, have you have, we have to, because uh, we need to cover, actually we already should already start the hardware lab. Okay, so I'm considering, and I think one of your friends, I'm not sure whether he already dropped the class or not, because he will be coming back in week six or seven, I'm not sure. We have to start as soon as possible actually, Azizul. Okay. Yes, doctor, but I'm saying this, doctor. We are staying in South City, so it, it, it takes time. We have to arrange, there, yes. Especially during the test, it's really difficult. That's the test will I'm not saying. be the same day as your lecture. I'm okay. oh, sorry, not the same day as your lab. Okay? Okay. The test will be online. Okay, doctor. Okay? So the test probably will normally we take one hour. So I will discuss with Dr. Amrila, the other group. Maybe we just stay on Friday. Then the lecture will be, you still have the lecture two hours and the lab run as usual. Okay. It will be much better. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.